What's up guys, Vital Notion here today, and guys today we have a gameplay on grind. This is an 80 and 9 gameplay. You're not going to see every death, but you're also not going to see every single kill. We're going to kind of skip forward. I'm going to show you some things, like uh, where you need to use some C4. Instead of using your gun, it's very important um, to use C4 in these situations. Uh, but the first thing I want to note on grind is uh, it is a very, very small rushy map. Um, you guys have played it. It's a older DLC map. Um, and you guys have really enjoyed this map, I think. I, I've put out some videos before, um, some previous videos, where I've gotten quite a few kills. I don't think I've quite gotten 80 before. Um, so this is an 80 kill game, but notice how I rush around the left there. That is so important. You'll see why in just a second. This guy's using a riot shield. Um, you'll see why I, I kind of get behind the enemy lines here. They already have tack insertions. This is a big tack insertion map. <clears throat> you see the guy spawns with the tack there. Uh, pick up two quick kills. Three. Um, throw the C4. I think I got a fourth. I might have gotten an assist. Uh, pick up one here. I don't know how I didn't kill both of these guys. Uh, but then run back in and grab two more. And that puts me very close to the VSAT, guys. That is less than a minute in the game. Um, and we're already close to a VSAT. The score is 17 to 10. Throw the C4. Now, that is a situation where you want to throw the C4. That's one of few that I'm going to show you. Um, I actually get a stupid death right here. A guy's using an LMG, and I challenge it. Um, see, that's when you do not want to challenge. Um, the clip here is just a little quick example of where to throw the C4. You see the guy back there? The VSAT's going away. Throw the C4 then. That's when you want to throw the C4 so you don't take a chance on dying. Um, but I do get a death there. Um, but guys, uh, when you're throwing these C4, like I planted a C4 there, I blew it up so I could get the 50 points. Um, C4 is pretty much what we're talking about this whole game. And, um, you know... I've, I've really grown to love the C4. I've never used the C4 until Black Ops 2. Um, and I noticed that people were getting like these massive gameplays where, where it was just ridiculous amounts of kills uh, while they were using the C4. And I was like, you know, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring a full video pretty much of showing um, using C4, why to use it, when to use it, um, like chucking it there, you know, even though I didn't get a kill. Um, even though there was no kill, it did back the enemies off a little bit. The guy was shooting back there at something. I'm pretty sure he's shot, trying to shoot down something. And the C4 at least let him know that I was coming up the stairs. Now, it can also be a bad thing, you know, letting people know where you're coming. Um, you know, kind of a bad thing. But I have not run into a situation yet where I've thrown a C4 and I regretted it. Unless you go back to my video a few months ago um, where I was on a kill streak and blew myself up, like, in two seconds in the game. And it was, it was so embarrassing. Uh, but other than that, uh, most of the time I'm really happy with using the C4. That's why I run Scavenger. Um, basically, I don't mind picking up guns off the ground. Um, it's not a big deal. Um, although I don't like to run out of ammo, um, I don't mind picking up guns off the ground. The the uh, scavenger packs are really, really good for replenishing that C4 um, to where you can throw them around corners and get you know those kills where it's a little you know iffy whether you're going to get it or not. Um, and you throw it and you, you like you're guaranteed. Even if you get a hit marker, the guy's one shot at that point. Now, I will say um, that I here lately I've been like throwing the C4 and getting these like, uh, what do you call it? Like where you throw the C4, you get a hit marker, uh, but yet there's still more than one hit. Like it takes like three more, and I don't understand those at all. I almost die here, um, almost die, and. I don't know. I should have let my teammates go in right there. Um, just trying to explain a little more of what I did wrong there. I should have let my teammates go in, but I was really trying to earn that swarm just before the round ends. And you see there's a, a few seconds left there. There's the end of the round. We're winning by way too much. But anyways, I uh, do pick up the kill streaks Now, um, I want to say another thing. Along to, This is along with kill streaks. When you have your streaks, I know you guys know this, but when you have your streaks right at the beginning of the round, um, you are going to have a big game. And it's basically because... When you call in those dogs, you call in the swarm, um, they are going to go in. And I, I, like lately, I've seen more so than not, my kill streaks are going in like crazy. I'm getting at least 20 to 30 kills with this combination of dogs and swarm. Um, you know, kind of, if I get two or three a game, I'm at least getting 20 or 30 kills, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and that's just incredible, guys. That is just super super incredible and you know throwing on the load star I would say you could bump that number up a little bit more to even say maybe 40 to 50 kills are coming from your kill streaks and that's when you're getting those 90 100 plus games um, which I'm still working on um, but as you see there's plenty of room for improvement on these games and this is only 80 kills um, if I had started this game you know 
a little earlier on getting my dogs in swarm. If I could have gotten the dogs in swarm at the beginning of the game, this would have been a well over 100 kill game, um, just because I'd had the swarm at the beginning. And that's so important when you're getting these 100 pluses. Um, you know, you want to grab the swarm within the first minute. If you guys get a swarm in the first minute, don't freak out, but know that you are going in the right direction. You're real close, actually, um, to getting your 100 plus if you get it in the first minute. Now, you do have to keep playing. Like, you're, the rest of your game has to be good. It can't, you can't really slack off any, um, but you are going to be closer and more set up to get the 100 plus than you were before. Uh, and pretty much, guys, that's what I'm bringing you um, with these. Um, I am still trying to get some nuclears. Uh, I got killed on a brutal the other day, and uh, I just, that kind of kills my spirits on the nuclears. Um, but we got another C4 situation here. Throw the C4 out the window. Um, back up away from it just enough to where it doesn't kill you. And the guy, I'm actually going to C4 another guy. You see him coming up the ramp there? That's just a precautionary. And like I said, using that C4 is so important. I could have died. I could have missed that kid. Um, and he could have killed me. I've so many times, uh, more times than not, I've gone around to challenge that and I end up dying. Um, and it's just one of those things where you can just be a little cautious, you know? Throw the C4, be cautious. Um, that's why the C4 is there. It's, it's there to use it. And uh, when you guys aren't using it, when, you, when it's in your inventory, when you die, um, basically you're wasting kills. And, and that's kind of what you're going for. You're, you're wanting to get that C4 out of your in inventory every time just to make sure um, that, you know, you have every opportunity to get as many kills as you can. Um, getting some dumb deaths here. You know, I mean, it, it, the game was kind of wrapping up. We had 178 points. My swarm's getting all the kills that it can. <clears throat> you saw that it killed me a second ago. But, you know, I can't really help that. Uh, but, you know, those those deaths kind of result from, like, bad spawns, um, you know, things that happen. These two guys are right next to each other. Um, the swarm didn't kill them, even though it's still out, I believe. Yeah, it's still out. Um, so, you know, just some things kind of added up, and it ended up adding up to, you know, nine deaths, <clears throat> which is a little much, but it is below ten, which is um, my threshold um, for videos. I really don't like to upload more than ten deaths, just because it gets a little boring, but I thought this game um, really showed you guys some times where the C4 was necessary, um, some eating my bullets there, but thank you guys so much for watching. 200 to 92 was the score. Like I said, guys, um, 200 to 92 is way too much for winning by, you know, more than 100 points. You're really capping flat too much um, to get too many kills um, and you know that's kind of what we're working for another C4 example there that's for my friend Chewbacca um, but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this is an 80 and 9 gameplay I hope you enjoyed hope you enjoyed the tips and uh, guys go out and use that C4 it is so important to use hope you guys enjoy and I will see you back again tomorrow see you guys